and we have a bout between two Americans, the red, white, and blue, represented here. Nicole Gibbs, the former Stanford Cardinal, former national champion, will take on the US Open champion, Sloane Stevens. And here is the official format presented by Geico. Two men, two women, one coach, five sets, singles, doubles, mixed. And the sets are up to five. A nine point breaker will be at four all and the home team coach selects the order of play. And how about Rick Leach, one of the great doubles players in the history of professional tennis. His 19th year as the head coach of a team and he's joining the Orange County Breakers this year. He's been around for a while there on the West Coast and he does a fantastic job. The players love him. But let's not forget about the man on the other side, Luke Jensen. Another doubles specialist. And Luke knows all about team here, but let's put our focus now to the court as Nicole Gibbs serves in the far court to the US Open champ, Sloane Stevens. How about Nicole Gibbs starting? 30 love serving for the breakers. And I must say, I think the weather actually favors Gibbs. She has a very heavy topspin game. A lot of topspin, I should say. Sloan, meanwhile, likes to step in and hit the ball flat. Nicole, a former college player, used to these gritty fall-like evenings. I remember playing college tennis at Rutgers in these fall type invitational late evening matches. Usually would go to the grittiest player and I think Nicole's gonna give Sloan a tough time out here today. But we are talking about Sloan Stevens, one of the greatest players in the world. A Grand Slam champion and a true veteran on the Pro Tour, so never count her out. And as I look at the flags to my left, they have calmed down quite a bit, so that will help Sloan. Well, excellent overhead. Now, this is a very important game for Nicole Gibbs. She has two game points here on her serve. If she can hold, we're only playing up to five, so she immediately is on the board, immediately puts the pressure on. But obviously, if she gets broken after having game points, it's going to kill her confidence against a very competitive competitor. And just like that, we have a deuce situation here, which means it's no ad scoring, and the receiver gets to choose, and that's gonna be Sloan. She wants to take it on the forehand side on the deuce court as the wind picks up. Oh, costly error there, gives the first game to the breakers as they are now up 6-1 in the overall score and then one love in this event. And give Nicole a lot of credit. You see the focus in her eyes. She squandered quite a few game points but held her toughness. Very impressive serve in there as Sloan serves in the near court.
Well, Sloan Stevens serving masterfully so far, up 30 love, now two points away from evening this women's singles at one game apiece. Great backhand there, nicking the line. Sloan taking no prisoners in this game. She has four game points. point here serving to the deuce court. Nice backhand exchange there. Stevens too tough and you can hear the New York fans appreciating that effort. We're all tied at one here in women's singles. I'm Harry Chikma, glad to be here for the 2019 World Team Tennis season. New York City alive and well here in the Bronx. Stevens now getting her claws into this one. Excellent return and now love 15. Remember we play no head scoring so three points away from a break. Hawkeye not in. Attendance, no Hawkeye tonight, so we have the Lions judges making the calls. Which they always do, but. Well, the wind picked up on that point, and you can see Sloan just a little bit off balance. Missing way wide, so we have 30-15 here for Nicole Gibbs serving. So far, very competitive women's singles after Orange County took the mixed doubles to start out the evening. And remember, it's cumulative scoring. So right now, if you look at the overall score, Orange County's up 6-2 as Nicole Gibbs pulls out the ace out wide. As we expected, Gibbs doing a fantastic job, hanging tough here. Taking on the prize fighter, Sloane Stevens. But everyone respects Nicole Gibbs on the women's tour. Had a great college career at Stanford, a very impressive pro career on the WTA tour. She's now up 2-1 over Sloane Stevens as we play up to five. Thank you. 
the point of the day. Unbelievable effort from both players, tagging the lines on numerous occasions. And let's see now if the breakers and Nicole Gibbs can ride that momentum. Two points away from a break, that would be huge for Gibbs. Let's see how Stevens handles it, serving down. Oh. Nicole Gibbs giving it her all in this game. Three break point opportunities for the breakers. What will Stevens do here? Good court coverage from Sloan Stevens and Gibbs did everything right. The wind's in her face, throw up the lob. Very smart play, I really thought she was gonna win the point there, but still double break point. Stevens hanging tough. Gibbs can do no wrong today as she gets the break and goes up three to one. Unbelievable effort. Sloan Stevens hitting a good ball today. She's not doing too much wrong. As we now go to break, we'll be right back with more from New York. Welcome back, I'm Harry Chickma. Glad to be in the great city of New York. We're at the Cary Leeds Tennis Center. And what do you know, an upset in the making. Both the Orange County Breakers are up eight to two and Nicole Gibbs is serving up a break three to one against the legendary Sloan Stevens. So we are going to see if the hometown empire can make a comeback. Stevens already up love 15 in this game. Very windy out here. You can hear the wind making it tough for both players out here on stadium court. Good play from Stevens, holding her ground there. Gibbs doing a nice job trying to attack, but I feel like the best way to win out here is just hang from the baseline, grind the way she's been doing thus far. Just missing that one. Both players skipped a heartbeat. You can see it was just wide. Good call. 15-30. Two points in a row now. Remember we play up to five here in each event, so a hold would be monumental for Gibbs. Putting up 4-1. Well, Sloan Stevens doing the right thing there, just being consistent. I mentioned before this set that due to the conditions, due to the wind, it's a little colder, which slows the ball down. It would favor Gibbs. 
So now Steven's slowing her pace down. Saves one break point. We have another one coming up here. That was a gutsy play coming up to the net. Well, let's are in play and it goes in the favor of the breakers. What a gritty hold there as the Breakers now lead 9-2 overall, and here in women's singles, they're up 4-1. Question is, can Stevens hang tough and hold here and stop the momentum of Gibbs as we have a Geico timeout? Luke Jensen wants to talk things over. Trying to read the lips here of the legendary coach, Luke Jensen. I assume he's telling her, make Gibbs play. I'd say make Gibbs play, use the angles as well. You don't wanna go right back at Gibbs, that's not gonna do much, use the angles, move her around. of World Team Tennis, the music. And just like that, we have Sloan Stevens playing a very good game here thus far, up 30-15. Looks like that Geico timeout worked out. Smart move there from Coach Jensen. So triple game point here for Sloan Stevens. Excellent touch there. Smart play from Sloane Stevens. She gets the hold. And remember, every point matters, every game matters. You see the focus here. She didn't really disguise it, but she hit it so well, and then she followed it up. She knows how important every game is, because now the overall score is only a difference of six. If she had lost that game, it would have been a difference of seven, and it makes it even harder for her team to come back. So even if she loses this event, to get a break here would be major f for the Empire. Great depth, 15 love, three points away from taking this event. Two points away now from the event here for the Breakers. And this would be a major boost for Nicole Gibbs to get the upset win over Sloan Stevens. Oh, 
Oh. Well, good job there for Sloan to work the angle. Really pulled Gibbs too far. She couldn't muscle it up the line. So now this is an opportunity for New York. Two points away from a break here as we have no ad scoring. Too tough, too tough there. Sloan absolutely dominating that ball, and just like that, double break point to get back on serve. Ladies and gentlemen, Orange County and Coach Rick Leach is calling Geico timeout. Now Rick Leach with the Geico timeout, trying to stop this momentum. The wind has really picked up now, so not easy for the server. And the game goes to Sloan Stevens, and just like that, we're back on serve. And you really have to feel for Nicole Gibbs. She's done everything she could to get the upset, but if it makes the breakers feel any better, they're guaranteed at least a tiebreaker here. And I mean, you never want to lose, but if you only lose by one game in this to Sloan Stevens, it's not so bad. You're still up in the overall score. Since that Geico timeout by Coach Jensen, Sloan has won both games. So there's a reason Luke is considered to be one of the great coaches. Just like that, now two points away from a break. Thirty all, so pressure mounting here. Two points away from a tiebreaker, or two points away from this set being over. Which player? wants it more. And just like that, double set point here for Nicole Gibbs. Can she get this major upset and put her team up 10-4? Unbelievable. Unbelievable effort, and the set goes to Nicole Gibbs. She gets it with a break. And just like that, the breakers take it 5-3 in women's singles, and they are leading. You can see Nicole making a little face here. So both sets go to the breakers as they are up 